Welcome back, everyone, to the second part of this Use the Somber Prequel episode. Cheers! Somber Prequel! Use the Somber! It is not quickly said very well. Somber Prequel! So, last we left off, y'all returned to the ship. You willingly and 100% of your own free will gave the box to Captain Dakin. 100%. 100% of without your own free argument. will. With no without problems. argument, without any qualms on any side. <laughs> and everyone agreed it was the best move that we could make. Then, while some were celebrating, Javen decided to have a private conversation with Captain Dakin that did not go as well as he would have hoped. I so on I that note, news. on that note, what is the rest of the group doing as Javen is having this conversation? So it's in the box. Uh, on Paltrow's head. It, no. Is it? I was like, is it? Is Dome it like box? Paltrow's head. Oh, my box? Yeah. You said you had a she's box full of your goodies. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> she's gonna be up uh, celebrating, I guess, with with everyone up on top. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah. After a little bit, she's just gonna like watch the sunrise. Like, okay. Like be on the watch the sunrise. Cool. Pretty much. So she's trying to figure out how to get out. But not. Really. So as you're as you're leaning against the edge, you hear a voice just from a few feet across from you. It's a lovely view, isn't it? And you see one of the crew, you're not quite sure who it is. It's not someone that's really kind of made themselves present to you. But he seems to be one. staring. <laughs> ah, she'd already be dead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he seems to be staring out in the distance as well. Just kind of a small smile on his face. So, is it true what they say? Okay. That there's... Uh, that, uh, that you're from outside of Isla Sombra. She sighs. She looks out from the she, she, she's like, yes. It's not as beautiful as this, though, I would imagine. She kind of chuckles and she's like, during the day of the island, it's great. Very much a paradise. But I do miss home. It, it's not the same. It has its own beauty. <sighs> Maybe I'll leave this place someday. Yeah? Yeah. Get my own ship, my own crew. I have goals, you know. What's your name? Oh, sorry. Darius, nice to meet I you. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Poor guy. <laughs> you just thought he'd be a one-off, one-boss enemy from the first episode. No, I'm going to give him depth, and you're going to feel terrible about what you did to him. About <laughs> killing him in the first episode? I didn't do it. You guys did. You made us do it. It's sadistic. She, she, she can't see you. She knows She's like, what are they do you know my name, or have um, around, or...? Captain Dakin talks about you frequently. It's easel, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. <sighs> anyway, sorry, I did not mean to bother you. I'll see myself off. It's alright. <sighs> and he'll just, he'll just... He'll just stop and look out with you unless there's anything you want to talk about. Her mind is kind of busy with everything that happened. Okay. Back to you two. <laughs> the box. Oh, oh my, my <laughs> snow box here? Yeah, your snow box. Yeah, it's uh, just my things. I just carry around with me. And what things do people of your kind need? Your kind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa. No, 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 I mean, no. we don't, we don't, we don't talk like that on it. Insta, Brayden. No, he actually says this. Well, we have to go there about it, but, uh. <laughs> I just, I've got my stuff, like, uh, he opens it up, um, uh, I've got my, my decanter here, decanter made this water, made her, made her, made her. <laughs> <laughs> Hold oh, no. my, my bowl, can I see what I've heard? <laughs> Have you heard of it? I don't, I, that's, a, I mean, that's an 18 plus. 
Yeah, you know, you know what it is. Jordan, go ahead and describe. Go ahead and describe it, but yes, Brendan knows what it is. It can create lots of water. It doesn't run out. It's and just oh, what's the back? Got the left side. My bowl of right commanding side. water elementals. So I got this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> he says hi. <laughs> Fascinating. Put that back. Uh, oh, this ear horn I found. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty old myself, so when it, when it starts to go, I can put my ear and I can hear things. From how far? <laughs> um, just, it, it just means that I can hear. It's the ear horn of hearing. It's a yep. common magic item. Yeah. Ah. Uh, we've got some bongos. I can play the bongos real well. <laughs> I'm gonna need a performance check since you actually Got played them. Got it. That'd be. <laughs> that would be a nine. So I mean, he thinks he's pretty good, but this is a guy who goes to the bottom of the ocean to get vegetation, so he hasn't really compared himself. And you're used to the several festivals of Isda, so you know you're like, yeah, there's potential. <laughs> Keep at it, kid. Yeah, that's oh. all. I like them. That's Which all very cool. cool. <laughs> uh, that's about it. So, so how'd you get so good at basic scaring? stuff? A bowl of commanding water <laughs> elemental. <laughs> okay, endless water. <laughs> basic stuff. <laughs> so how'd you get so good at scaring monsters? I mean, I talk to them. I I can talk to most animals, not just water animals. Do you do the same thing with the monsters on land? I can. Yeah. Fascinating. But anyway, do you drink? Uh, never tried. I mean, I have tried. It didn't go well. Ah, so are you a fan of it? No. Ah, me neither. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who threw that? <laughs> it's in my eye! <laughs> Pay no attention to him. Oh! <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh! So now I have to wear an eye patch, and everyone's gonna make fun of me on Isda. <laughs> oh no, a pirate wearing an eye patch. It's a cliche, Brayden. You shut your mouth. This is a fire storm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so how long do you plan on staying with us? I mean, I mean, I would like to help with you guys' suspicion uh, of stopping the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, how are you at fighting? Uh, I'd say I'm pretty good. Yeah, I, I protect myself. Uh, most things can't get through the shed. Knock, knock. Alright, good. 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 Yeah, I think it's good too. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very good. <laughs> Any, anything else you'd like to know? No, no, no. Just welcome aboard and thank you. How, how did you ever join the crew? You see, <laughs> by personal choice, I set out on a mission to prove the captain of the ship wrong. Oh, so you were once a part of the crew? Yes, I decided to leave. Oh, okay. Decided there was. Something better out there for me than this. There was more to me. Than group of ruffians. Me. More you could accomplish if you were you know, away from the ship and just the, all the influence on the ship. Yeah. 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 All the safety and the riches and the ease of life. Yeah, that was nothing I wanted. Sounds like you had a special and intimate relationship with the ship. I definitely researched uh, Corbin. <laughs> That's probably why it's so amazing. But no, you'll be a welcome addition to our little group here. And oh, thank you. You'll be very helpful. Very I, I try. Helpful. I try to be. But if you ever hurt at all, just uh, come to me and uh, I'll take care of you. Alright. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Brain just kind of like shadows in the rest of the <laughs> night. Just kind of like. <clears throat> Alright, so. <laughs> still about. An hour to get to port. Just if there's anything you guys would like to do or discuss before you reach, now's the time to do it. If not, skip ahead. It's just your time. Yeah, Javen's just staring off onto the horizon as, as sailing off the port, just letting everything attack him just pull totally them sink in. This one will join next year, but not. 
afraid to sleep. You're asleep? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna take a nap before I get it, there. Taking a little kitty nap, are ya? <laughs> Speaking of the kitty. Yeah, he's off. <laughs> Dahmi retreats into his shell, just on deck. Just doesn't go anywhere, just... <laughs> you might not turn me up here, turn me up. <laughs> Alright, so... To come on. <laughs> yeah. The sun has started to come up more to where you know the horrors of the night have passed as the ship comes into dock. Yay! <laughs> Big bucket of water. Wake up, Firestar. We're back at port, buddy. <laughs> Poor buddy. <laughs> what was the point of drying me off last night if you're just going to wake me up with more water? There's no point of splashing the water on you if you're already wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one, Jeff! <laughs> Firestar, more like... Oh, no. What's a good one? I don't know, you started it. Water it's more like wet blanket. Something. No, that's... Dumb. <laughs> Shut up, Firestar, no one likes you. <laughs> they walk off. Is that like his like, tongue just like heating up, like trying to dry off his body? Alright, roll 2d8 damage. <laughs> oh, it's a fire tongue. It's not coming up again. I know, I'm just playing. I'm just gonna say, okay, I guess. <laughs> want some wounds you want to cauterize? This is okay, this is okay. My skin's wet, it must be removed. It must be cleansed. <laughs> Well, as Captain Dakin comes back out, this was fun, but I hope we never have to do it again. Rather stay above water. And uh, two men bring up the chest and set it before the group. So yeah. Ah, yeah. Roll me a perception check. It's been open. Eighteen. All right, good to know. What? I'm tell her what she perceives. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> That's it. You perceive something. You don't know what I it is. I don't know what I perceived. Okay. You're assuming you succeeded. <laughs> That's true. I rolled so high. Ah, uh, well. Obviously up to you on how you proceed. Lady Dumont is not someone I would keep waiting, though, so... But hey, it's not my skin she'll remove and wear like a suit, so... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, get off my ship. Yep, Davey gets off. You're in Isda. Yay! Alright. Let's... Let's take this to the Dumont post haste. Okay. I got a chance to use post haste in the campaign. Hey! Post haste. Alright, so you head off. Easy enough, you remember the way. Yep. And head to the outside of the Dumont home. Where, once again, several armed spear guards on the bottom. The same riflemen up above the gate. You remember us! That's not how they talk. That's how the that's how the kobold selling the one size fits all plate mail speaks. Get your NPCs right, Harry. How dare you disrespect me? We have to look at this one. Yes, we remember you. Um, this is our friend Garu. He uh, he helped us retrieve the box. He's an old turtle. You can always trust him. Wait here. One of the guards goes in. Oh, come on. You can always trust a turtle. Oh, a snappy turtle. Snappy turtle will bite your hand right off. <laughs> we, 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 got the point. Point. Don't have <laughs> we in the Thorpe community don't like the snappy turtles. They, uh, <laughs> they give yeah, a bad yeah. representation. <laughs> <a> bad <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in fact, I'm really insulted that you brought them up. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's like passing me in my nutshell. She's like, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean. I'm sorry. It's alright. Just, uh, just don't do it again. Iron Claw whispers to Javen. Did he even feel that? <laughs> and Javen just like. <laughs> just like, has this look of stop talking, cat. <laughs> so, a couple minutes later, the guard returns. 
you may come with. Okay. And the gates are opened, and you are <clears throat> reintroduced to the very lovely home of the Dumonts. The very long hallway, ornate tiles, suits of armor, the portraits, everything about it that just exuded wealth. And as the door opens, you once again are brought before the court of the Dumonts. Lord and Lady Dumont sitting on their chairs, what some might call thrones, depending on how good you are in their graces, and surrounded by their guards once again. Lord Dumont seems to be wearing a more ceremonial attire, seems to be wearing very just lavish clothes, kind of the puffed up shirt, some fine silk neckerchiefs, has more kind of like a dark green vibe to him today. Lady Dumont's wearing very similar to the last dress he wore, but this one's a bright crimson. One might associate with blood red. One might. I'm not saying I do, just someone might. Anyway. Does it have gold trim? <laughs> Does not have gold trim. <laughs> Does not have gold trim. It's pure blood red. I mean crimson. <laughs> it was yellow. Or it was white. That joke would have been better if I gave my colors. I'll go back to kindergarten. Is the dress yellow and white, or is it blue and black? Ah, jeez. <laughs> uh, I'll go back to 2016. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, so they just seem to sit and wait, staring at you. He's all pretty the box out. I hope this is what you were looking for. Lord and Lady Dumont look at one another. Lady Dumont looks over her left shoulder. And someone comes down. They exchange whispers. What seems to be an older servant comes down, probably low 60s, if you had to guess. Fairly old for Isda, for someone to survive that long. Especially in the service of someone like the Dumonts. But the man comes forward and he presents his arms, just staring at you. What's the box in And he gets up and he walks, and he keeps going, and he heads through a back door, just past uh, Lady Dumont's chair. And as he shuts the door, they just sit there, waiting, but their eyes aren't taken off of you guys yet. Hmm. Good posture too. She's just standing, standing there. And who are you exactly? Lord Dumont speaks. Oh, my name is Dom, sir. Damu. You're not one of mine. No, I don't think so. So what brought you here to help them? Nope, uh, I heard what they were wanting to do, accomplish, and it seemed like it'd be a good thing for the world, and thought I'd, I'd tag along. They, they accepted me. <laughs> Darling, he has a pure and noble heart. No wonder he's not one of yours. <laughs> 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 and they exchange a laugh as they look over at you. Well done. Don't say it is too long. Attitudes like, you, attitudes like yours are rarer than gold. Okay. And at this point, the door opens again, and the old servant comes down, leans into Lady Dumont's ear, and whispers again. She kind of nods and just kind of waves him off, and he heads back into the back room once again. Well, apparently, congratulations are in order. You have retrieved what was lost. Wants to ask what it was, but she's definitely keeping you back. So tell me, what is it you need from us now? A deal is a deal, after all. Safe passage into the Sombra Township. Ah, to Sombra Township. 
That's a long ways away. I'm sure we can manage it. We need to be able to get there post game. Mm. <laughs> Don't wear out, it's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm getting all of it out now. <laughs> By all means, keep going. We're listening. We hate to interrupt. Well, we want to meet with Tubal. We told you our, our vendetta against him. Mm hmm. No point in wasting time. Well, by all means, that's the easiest part. You need nothing from us to meet two ball. Safe passage. It gets rather uncomfortable at night. Indeed it does. And quick passage. We can help you. But like we said, once you reach Somber Township, anyone there can point you in the direction of two ball. You'll find him. I'm assuming he's in the most lavish castle there. <laughs> Tubal always liked his luck. Mm, but he has terrible taste. <laughs> Don't let him use it. Nah, well. Do we look worried to you? No, you don't. <sighs> well. And in his head, he's like, but well, they should be. Well, my dear, do you think we can honor those arrangements? We certainly can. I can work to start having a vessel prepared for you. Would it be possible to have that vessel armed? Are you expecting a fight? If the leper is on our tail, yes. And what exactly do you think that cannons will do to a single man. Eviscerate. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a range of error on those kinds of weapons. A cannon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're assuming he's gonna get in front of it? Or maybe a ballista? Maybe, like, maybe, like kind of like some like some trading caravan does maybe uh i mean all those know, like armored people on there with guns ready to shoot yeah but i mean all those things are like like cannons and ballista are meant for attacking like ships and like ports and stuff they're not meant yeah, for targeting was, the individual he was, people he was thinking more of like like a ballista if they can see it from far away just disposable leper right now or like people with guns or crossbows like ready to Fire on a jerk if they show up. There's no ship in Isda that is not armed. Okay. But we will not fight your battles for you. The leper attacks who he wants. If he comes for you, we will not stand in his way. Hmm. It's not personal, my dear. It's just business. No, it's a man of understanding. I can have the ship ready for you by tomorrow morning. Lord Dumont cuts back in. Okay. If you're trying to get to Sombra Township, you could head straight to the, Tombra ship, the Sombra Township docks. Or, if you'd rather have a more stealthy approach, we could just have you pass over the gulf, hit the tip of the main island of Sombra, and you could walk the rest of the way. Mm. That's up to you. Sure. I think we'll go both the whole way. Very well. Ah. Ah, well, I will take care of it then. And Lord Dumont leans over and whispers something to Lady Dumont. You see she kind of just gives a very subtle, just like you barely see her head kind of move nod. Mm. <sighs> she stands up, just straightens up the dress. By all means, come with me. And she motions to the door that the servant went behind earlier. Mm. And she starts walking. So and I follow her as well. As does Iron Claw. Seeing the rest, tell them all this. 
Yeah, I guess I'll do the back to the Speak, Firestar. Gosh, dang. He's uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't need to speak out loud. Just say what you're doing. Yeah, yeah he's going. He's okay, going there you go. Him. It's okay. I'll protect you, just like you said. <laughs> <laughs> You've never met a monster like Lady Dumont. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't. So, after traveling down a long hallway, comes to a spiral staircase that heads down. By the time... Who said they followed first? By the time Easel got... <laughs> I, I thought it was her. Mm -hmm. By the time Easel gets to the end, you see that she's about three kind of spirals down, still just walking. She doesn't appear to be waiting for you guys. She <laughs> goes down spirals to get to the staircase. I know, really? Like she is looking around at the surroundings that she's going down, but she's following her. <sighs> so, as you all head down, it comes to a very dark chamber. Like, you all noticed as you were heading down that the glam and the obscenity of wealth kind of started to started to vanish as you went down the spiral staircase and it kind of started to turn into something more primal very dark made of smoothed out but yet crude stone at the same time torchlight shut your mouth <laughs> torchlight lights the way instead of the lamps that you've seen in ISDA that have been lit with oil. These are just pure burning torches. So pleasure, pleasure. It's not. Thank you for Stop. watching Fifty Shades of Dungeoneers. <laughs> I can make this so much worse for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So an octopus jumps out <laughs> <laughs> and it latches round to your face. No, no, no. Don't you make a strength check? He rolled an at 20. No. Oh. Nope. You fail. You fail. He has a plus 38. Because <laughs> he has eight arms. It's only fair. <laughs> Anyways. You feel the beak against your cheek. It's super uncomfortable. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so as you head down, you enter into this large stone chamber that looks like it was built into the very earth itself after this building kind of came to be. And... Before her on a table are several of the weapons, the Hagathite weapons that she showed you before. Ooh. Make me a medicine check. Please get it this time. Nat 20! That's the weapon the leper used. Shut your mouth, Carrie! <laughs> <laughs> so, as you see that she's looking at all of these weapons, there's one yeah. in particular that you saw before, but... You're not sure if it was just the intimidating presence of Lady Dumont, the fact that you were surrounded by a bunch of armed men, the fact that Iron Claw almost got you killed, the fact that you're traveling with a guy named Firestar. <laughs> you're not quite sure what was distracting you at the time, but now that you've had a moment to kind of calm yourself and assess the situation, you recognize a weapon that looks like a long wooden club with several serrated edges on either side, and you recognize it as the same type of weapon that you believe made the cuts on your Jolly Fiend friends. She then stops and stares at it. That's, that's she looks Speak up, my dear. Oh, that's just speak up for that. Our friends were killed with that kind of weapon. And you see that she grabs it and picks it up with one hand and looks it over. And this thing looks pretty heavy. So she just, she's wielded it before. Has she? <laughs> now, my dear, you seem like a lovely child. I'm sure you're not insinuating that I killed your friends. No. Wise. Okay. It was her, she did it. Roll in Though, it does mean someone's familiar with this weapon. Of course. It's a Hagathite weapon. I was honest with that, about that with you last time. Could have used any of these things. He might use all of these and, you know, picks up these, like, cruel, jaded daggers just built out of cruel stone. Looks more for just, like, tearing and gnashing <laughs> rather than clean surgical cuts. They look like butchery tools. And every single time she picks one up, you notice that she carries it like it's a child. Like it's something that she's 
incredibly fond of. She didn't get an inside check, this lady. Go ahead. <laughs> what exactly are you trying to figure out? Uh, if she has any ill intent. Okay. But I rolled a eight. Uh, you you really didn't expect this as you followed her, mm-hmm. and you're not really sure what her objective is here, so you are way too thrown off to get a read on her. Yeah. Can I roll a history to see if she's ever used these weapons before? No. Okay. Like, to see, like, how she holds them, how she looks at them. I'll like, oh, oh, let's roll an insight, but that's not really history. Yeah, I was like, I you don't know that you don't know her past. Aha, so uh-huh, like, but no. Yeah, 60, okay, so insight. That was cool. That was really cool. Uh, 19. 19. Yeah. Alright, so... What's Javen's passive perception? Strength question. Passive perception. What the heck? Did I not save it when I wrote it down? What's your wisdom modifier? Yeah, Yeah, wisdom modifier plus uh, 12 plus what? It's 10 plus... uh, Wisdom plus plus what? No, it's just it's just ten plus wisdom. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So then twelve. Twelve. Okay. I think there's feats that can make your passive wisdom higher, yeah, but, but yeah. otherwise, no. It's just your path, your wisdom plus ten. Okay. okay. So you rolled a nineteen, you said. Yeah. Okay. So you're not quite sure, just because you're not a mind reader, about. Sorry, you're not like you're not a mind reader, but you are someone who has been familiar enough. That, familiar enough in combat, you've seen, you know, squires hold weapons in ways that clearly they shouldn't be holding them, or they're holding them like they're objects or a bundle of sticks. Yeah. The way that she's carrying them, while creepily intimate, is professional. So while you don't know what capacity she's used them in, she the way that she's holding them, them you're, you believe she has used them before. She's familiar with them. Yeah, he sounds very creeped out right now. Yeah. And uh, everyone roll me a quick perception check. Matt, 20. Two in a row. <laughs> Not two in a row, my last one was seven. Uh, <laughs> all right. Perce- perception. Perception. 23. 23. So Matt, 20, 23, 18. 16. 16. Iron Claw. On principle. Uh, 17. Okay. So despite the uh, torchlight being low, uh, you guys see in the far corner the older servant just in a corner. Not like he's really trying to hide, like he's just leaning there. He's not trying to be one with the shadows or anything like that, but just with how dark it is, it kind of takes you guys a moment, but you see that he's standing over there just right. watching. Okay. So Javen then sees that and then looks at Lady Dumont and goes, with respect, Lady Dumont. Is there a reason you're showing us this? Yes. Yes, there is. You did right by us. I think it's only fair that we do right by you. We did not share all the information that we have on the leper. With all respect, who were you at the time? That's a fair point. But now that you're in a accomplice against two ball, I suppose you're all in. Uh, we've been trying to figure out the leper's identity for some time. I have. My husband calls it my little obsession, but I am curious about one of my fellow brethren serving two ball. There aren't many of us left, but I recognized tactics. I recognized methods about him that stood out too much for me. At this point, the old servant walks forward. <sighs> he is a part of Ishnet. Ishnet. Ishnet is a particular branch of Hagathites. They believe that pain is not an illusion, but an experience, and one that can be dominated, dominated and persevered through. They believe that by subjecting themselves to the physical pains of the world, they may overcome this pain. And if you don't fear pain, there is little the world can do to scare you. 
And at this point, he pulls up one of his sleeves, and you all see to whatever your guys' reactions would be, just these ritualistic, just patternized scars and carving over every inch of skin that was covered. His hand seems to be the only thing untouched. And he pulls his sleeve up to just like below his shoulder, and you can see it continues up to where you have no idea how far it goes, but it's ornate and intricate and long. The leper is an extremist. Despite his condition, he still believes in harming himself. I believe that he believes his condition was a challenge by the gods themselves. Maybe he finally grew tired of it. Maybe he believes he can overcome it. Perhaps he was tired of being a pawn of the gods and saw Tubal out to cure him. I do not know. Leprosy is a rare disease. In my studies of it, there's only been one case in the last 100 years, but it was to a young girl. She didn't make it past four. And how old is the lep? Unknown. Masks do that. Hmm. All he needs to be cured, maybe I can help him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would love to have a conversation with you. Good. You're not going to incite that, huh? No. None of you need to, except for <laughs> Tamu. He's, he's very naive. I know. I love that, especially <laughs> interacting with Lady Dumont. Yeah. <laughs> especially in this setting. Mm hmm. <clears throat> well. And see why a person of his mental capacities would ally himself with Tuval. Tuval would make such promises. As I said, there are many unknowns, but perhaps that little detail of his beliefs will help you down the line. Maybe it won't, but as far as I'm concerned, we are even. Thank you. If you wish, and she motions and carved into the rock is like makeshift shelves and alcoves and there are several scrolls <gasps> I have been collecting any written record of the history of my people since well since I married my husband it was a wedding gift he's so sweet that said if you wish to look through them perhaps there's something that would stick out to you more than it did to me They will remain here, though. Of course. Tubal goes up and... Tubal! Tubal! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! <laughs> Tubal walks in and Roll decimates everyone. Oh, Roll God. initiative. <laughs> you fail. Javen. <laughs> Sorry. Javen's Tubal. Making that, uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, Freudian slip. Javen is not Tubal. <laughs> Javen is not Tubal. It's canon. Javen is not Tubal. Javen is not Tubal. Right. But anyway, um, so yeah, he, Javen goes up and, and goes to one of them and starts reading them. He still doesn't go up and start reading as well, just cheap studies for, I mean. Okay. And Javen has basically decided that he's going to study these scrolls until it's time to go to bed. Okay. Same with these scrolls, she's going to study until she needs sleep. Brayden's just going to hang out. Okay, Brayden's hanging out. Bruce, one or two. Okay. To Javen, this quest is more important than socialization of the party. Two investigation checks from you two. Okay. Nat 20! Yes. <laughs> I like two, these dice! Two investigate. Like, no, one for each of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, if you don't believe me. No, I can see it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it. If you're going to lie to me, then this whole thing's ruined, so I trust you. Yeah. Uh, 17 plus 8. 25. 25. Okay. And with the 20 and the add on. Uh, with an add-on, it'd be 22. 22. So even with the nat 20, he technically got higher? Whoa! Just checking. Yeah, no, but I'm kidding, but nat 20. But nat 20 is automatic critical success, so... No, I'm just, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. But, for the record, I did beat 
All right, so you two. Well, it's not entry. <laughs> Okay. 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 Anyways, um, <clears throat> so you two who are studying very intently, you actually find records that seem to talk about a village up north in particular doesn't exist anymore. Was wiped out when the Hagathites were considered more of a problem than they were. But you find records of. A family who had a daughter born to leprosy. It caught a lot of attention from different sects of the Hagathites. There were some who believed it was a curse. There are some from this, you know, faith that believed that uh, this is a champion. This is someone who was sent to overcome even the greatest of daily sufferings. And there was a little bit of a, a skew of how people felt about this. You can't find any records about how the parents felt. Uh, no names. Um, there is mention of a nephew and also of a brother to the sister, mm. but none of them carried the disease. How long ago was it again? It was right around uh, 20, 20, sorry, like between 25 to 30 years ago. Okay. The Hagathites were not known for their record keeping. So naturally, you're you're guessing a little bit. Your estimation with the with how high of rolls you made, I'll say you got to between twenty five to thirty because you guys have been comparing these scrolls for like eight hours. Yeah, like, like there's a lot of scrolls that you're looking through. <clears throat> Perhaps he thinks of himself as the champion. Possibly. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Do you think maybe one of them, maybe the brother or the nephew, could have contracted it without him knowing at first? It's possible. And then left? It's possible. <sighs> or. Or it's a she. Maybe it's a she. Maybe the leper is this girl. Are we warmer? Are we warmer? How would I know? Okay. Just thought I'd try. <laughs> my, my guess is that it's a girl or someone close. My guess is too, but you really have no way of not finding out at this point. Perhaps it would be good to research any battle strategies, the way they would approach, the way they would follow, the way they would stalk. Good idea for. Because if he's going to follow us, approach us, try to kill us, it would be nice to know how he approaches so we can carry. It's a good idea. The hour grows late. Man. We should probably get some rest, though. Man. I'm not going to take too much longer. Man. Sleep sucks. Alright. So you two are done? Yeah. yeah. Anything you two need to cover besides just heading back? Nope, he's just waiting for everybody to finish up. Barely okay. not sleeping. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> so you are escorted out yeah. of the entire Dumont estate. By Dean Cooper. No, <laughs> Why do you want my episode taken down? <laughs> so anyways, you Sorry, are escorted just... out and the gates are shut behind you as darkness begins to fall. I put 940 pounds of pop culture. Uh-uh. 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 Alright. Wait, as darkness? You said you were going to read until it was bedtime, so it's... Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's getting late. Okay. Like, it's not about okay. to be the creatures of the night, but it's starting okay. to get dark. Okay. Let's go to the tavern. Sorry, I'm going to say that in James' voice. Let's go to the tavern. Let's go to the tavern. Today. Today. Oh, such a bad ending. Anyways. <laughs> and that's our episode. No, we're not done yet. So. They are heading to a place that they have previously established a residency and bought some rooms. Yes. You have not been here before, though. No. So, as you enter into the lively Isda Tavern, 
you are welcomed by the strong smells, the hearty drinking, and a nasty look from a particularly nasty looking knoll. I was <laughs> Iron Claw is uh, sitting in the corner, kind of disgruntled, because he wanted to go talk to the gnoll and shoot him away. The gnoll did shoot him away, it's yeah. canon. Yep. So he's looking disgruntled because he tried to go talk to the gnoll again. Shoot him away. The guys are in his tavern. Is it still growling at me? No, I just did it like once uh, and just kind of gave you a look and then walked off. Ooh, that's sad. David, David just looks and he goes, "Don't worry about it." He growls. He's okay. just kind of a growling. <laughs> <Just walks> off. <laughs> <laughs> you blew my you blew my coat. Well, you blew my coat. Oh, I see. That must be how he communicates. I mean, we haven't heard him really speak. So. You've never heard him speak. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what language does he never spoke to? Uh, he spoke to Iron Claw, but was like, no one will ever believe you. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> He's talking no one will ever believe you. <laughs> it's true. That was canon. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see that your favorite bartender is just kind of giving you a look and like a half smile as he's just serving other patrons. Wave that up. Oh, we need to be staying in. We need a room then. No, I've got my my shell. It's kind of my home on my back. Oh, so you're just gonna like gonna sleep, sleep down here? No, no I, sleeping on the floor. Well, I, I do. This is a four and a half star establishment. Four and a half. Well, Shut your mouth. <laughs> well, that reviewer had it out for me. That wasn't my fault. He wanted me to fail. What a jerk. I know. Well, I do have a place of my own, uh, you know, sanctuary for my god. I, I like to speak there, so I can I can go back there whenever I want. <laughs> you guys can join me if you want. Or you can stay here. It's up to you. <laughs> Didn't we say last time to Dungato that this would be the last night that we were staying with him? No. Okay. So, like, we keep showing up here being like, hey, Dunkato. Originally, he nice. kicked you out, and then there was kind of some understanding made through some shared pain. So, you guys have pretty much kind of patched up the rough relationship. Yeah, he doesn't particularly like you, but he doesn't have the beef he had with you before. Yeah. He accepts the fact that we exist. Yeah. Pretty much. And we've keep her, like, four nights in a row. So mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, man. the money, so. Yeah, man. Not canon. Not canon. That's, that's Carrie saying it. Huh. So what's everyone doing? Fredo just go to his room. She's gonna go drop in her bed because she's exhausted. Okay. Before you guys leave, she just goes, Alright, see you tomorrow, and just vanishes. <laughs> <laughs> Casting word of recall. Oh, jeez. You can reveal what that does later. Sure. <laughs> Is he... <laughs> okay, see you later. <laughs> He went to his sanctuary like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I emerged Jesus. three days later. <laughs> three days. It's a long nap. <laughs> it's a very long night. <laughs> Jesus is a total, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying there's imagery. <laughs> He's, He's at least a cleric. So what's Javen and Ironclaw doing? Uh, uh Javen... Javen pays for a room. And kind of like looks around to see who's around. I guess who's around. No one in particular stands out to you. You haven't really, other than like Dakin and some of his crew, you haven't really gotten to know anyone around. So there's like a couple people where you're like, that guy looks familiar. He looks familiar. Her? And eh, maybe. If I didn't have a code, I'd probably. Anyway. <laughs> you're not her type. Oh. <laughs> Paladin. Gross. Paladin gross. <laughs> Paladin and Isda gets like minus ten on charisma checks. <laughs> don't have to say that one. Bad girls don't like good guys. They don't. I'm gonna beg a few differs on that one, but they don't. Anyways. <laughs> uh yeah, so seeing no one that I particularly want to get information out of, I'm gonna sort of And Iron Claw? Iron Claw is uh, drinking by himself. He keeps trying to go up to people, and they're just like, yeah, you're the cat from the past few nights. Yeah, 
We didn't want to talk to you the other night either. Pretty much. So he's just kind of oh. by himself and he passed out. Okay. You see him curling up like a cat from yeah. the bed first, just like curling up. Yeah, and then he, yeah he makes the circles he, makes he the needs. Circle and needs and... And... <sighs> and he has a couple dreams. Just... <laughs> Alright. Cool. Alright. So as you all take that long rest. Woo! <laughs> ah! Brayden. Uh, do we you, wake up to that? Brayden does. Oh my word. So Brayden, you wake up to a loud cracking sound. You're not quite sure what it is, but your ears I mean they become familiar to the sound of a scuffle. Coming from the dining area. Mm-hmm. Two girls are fighting over you. They're not. Dang it. Two guys are fighting over here. <laughs> no! A guy and a girl. Friends, they have one of two things. A, they left the door open, so this is a creature of the night. <laughs> or B. Oh. No one in no one in Isla Sombra leaves the door open. A. <laughs> no, like no. No one in Isla Sombra leaves the door open. This ain't Canada. Mm, right. Okay. This is right. this is the opposite. Brayden and, and is Canada. going to stealthily open the door. <laughs> Okay, you're down the hallway, so you can't see into the dining room area. You'd have to walk out a little bit. Okay, okay, so yeah, we're upstairs. Okay, so yeah, he's going to stealth his well, way. Well, no, you're on the ground floor. Yeah. Because there's there's ground floor rooms, and then there's Yeah, yeah, he's rooms. on the ground floor. Yeah, you're on the ground floor. Those three are on the up, upper mm. stairs. Which is why you heard this first. Yeah. So yeah, he's just going to open the doors, like, through the hallway and everything? Like, yeah, so... Like, down the hallway and then to the right. Out. You can't you can't see and that. If nobody's far. there, he's gonna creep his way yeah, down. Yeah, but last night I put mirrors in the hallway. <laughs> Shut up, Kerry. He's, he's, he's gonna creep his way to where he just like pokes around the corner. Alright, so as you poke around the corner, you see the knoll in hand to hand combat fighting. Oh. Oh. And you see as he takes this big swing, you see this figure just psh, Catch the hand in midair. Ooh. See a bunch of claw. No! Surrounding the skin, wearing this hood. No! <laughs> you <joined> me. No. <laughs> Large club-like weapon on his back looks familiar to you. <laughs> and as he's grabbing, you see he just and starts. Breaking the fingers backwards of the knoll. Oh, H. And as the knoll kind of falls to one knee, just like trying to resist the, sp- resist the breaking, hey, you just see, and you see this guy from the back. You don't mm-hmm. see the face yet. You just see him start going, <laughs> and you see that as he keeps hitting, there's just blood starting to form on the knoll's face as it's just, <laughs> and the knoll falls to the ground, just blood. Pouring down his face. And you see the... Slowly turns. And you see a pale... Silver mass. Two sockets for eyes. Formation of lips on the mask. And just as he turns, you see blood... Start to come out of the eye sockets. And also down and staining... The bandages that are wrapped around the neck. Brayden. Oh crap! You're on my list. And as he grabs his weapon, I think you that's where it. I'll take a second commercial break. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, hope you liked the show because it was a lot of fun to make. If you haven't already done so, please click the like and subscribe button and ring that bell. It really helps the channel out. Also, do follow us on Twitter to stay in the loop on everything Dungeoneers. See you soon, and goodbye.